This one is for the Gen X creatives who are looking around and realizing they've ended up someplace they totally didn't intend and they're stuck in a rut and they're worried. They're afraid it's too late. So first of all, I wanna say it's definitely not too late. And second of all, if not now, when? It is absolutely time to make some hard choices and fundamental changes. Because here's the thing, Gen X came up following the massive boomer generation that molded the world around them. And we're a tiny generation. And many of us, like younger generations, graduated into a recession. And when we saw broken institutions and rapacious capitalist systems that seemed like they were designed to make creative people fail, when we saw things were effed up and not working for us, we didn't feel like there was a lot that we could do about it. And faced with obviously toxic choices, a lot of us just retreated into nope, no to everything, no all the time, not trying because trying is what the stiffs do. Effort means you buy into capitalism, you're selling out. Effort is for losers. Effort means you care. And if you care, you can be disappointed. Emo was out. Vulnerability was out. Not into that kind of vulnerability. Thanks. And that's like a self-protective shell. It's like growing an exoskeleton to protect your soft little insides. And I know this is all amazingly reductive and I apologize. I know we Gen Xers hate being pigeonholed. And yeah, I just pigeonholed you with that. Deal with it. So that big punk F you to society, given society is probably pretty healthy. The problem is that the fundamental lack of trust not only goes outwards towards institutions and rules, it also goes inward and says, it's pointless, why bother? This is biting us in the ass. I think we've turned the starving artist myth into a self-destructive coping mechanism. I think we tend to accept the status quo in a kind of resigned way. But when you hit 50, whether that's now or a few years in the future or already a few years in the rear view mirror, certain things can start to feel a little more pressing. When you realize all those things you thought were magically gonna happen in your creative career just haven't happened. For some people, that's fine. They just ended up somewhere else. But if you're watching this, you're probably not fine. You're feeling stuck, burned out, maybe kind of baffled by how you ended up here in a gilded cage, feeling unable to question the stranglehold of your teaching job or your client work or your corporate career because you've got a mortgage, you've got kids, you've got failing parents. That feeling of why bother is killing you. I just want you to remember that that opting out attitude has a positive flip side. When we were creative kids looking to make something in the world and existing institutions had no room for us, we just said, screw it, I'm going to do it myself. When galleries didn't function for us, we made street art and built alternative spaces. And when publishing didn't listen, we self-published zines and then websites and then books. When the comics industry was at its absolute worst, we made mini comics and mail art and built the creator owned ethos that exists today. When the music industry sucked, we started bands and labels and made punk and grunge and hip hop and Riot Girl. And now all of that has calcified into new institutions. Thus the why bother? I get it, but we did all that. It's still in us. If you keep playing by the status quo rules, then nothing will change. Same input, same output. It is time to play a new game. So tell me, what did you hope would somehow happen in your career that hasn't magically happened? And what is the big scary pivot that you're dying to make?